Ah, the best thing you could ever do in your lifetime is sit back, relax, crack open a cold one of a bloody Red Bull or something. I don't really know what I'm trying to say. And I really do hope my past self does not cut me off the video. What's up, everyone? My name's Jonathan, and welcome back to some more Modern oh, Warfare 3. Cannonball! For today's video, we are going for the forge camo on the shotguns. And my god, man, the shotguns were like okay on some games and some other times it was just a pain in the ass. But don't worry, I'm going to show you my class setups anyway. So first off, for the Lockwood 680, this is my build right here. So for the barrel, it's the Lockwood Defender Heavy Long Barrel. This is actually quite good because of the whole like bullet velocity and the range. So that's for the barrel. Now we've got the laser, which is the Starvel Tack Laser. And for the stock attachment, it's the X10 Assault 90 stock. And now for the bolt attachment, it's the Titanic Heavy Bolt. And the last attachment for the guard is the Demo X40 Tactical Pump. And that is my build for the Lockwood 680. Now we're going to talk about the Haymaker. So the attachments for the Haymaker, I mean, it looks a little bit weird at the moment, but hang on. So for the bell, it's the Imperator Long Bell. For laser, it's the Stovel Dr. Laser Do Box. And for stock, man, it's quite obvious, no stock. And for the magazine, it's the 20 round magazine. I mean, I can't really say why not. And for the underbell, it's the FTAC SP10 Angled Grip. These are weird names. I'm so sorry. So that is my build for the Haymaker. Now for the final shotgun, the Riveter. If that's how you say it, the Riveter, Riveter. Actually, I don't know anymore. So for the bell, it's the SA Draven 20 Long Bell. And for the laser, the Stovel Dr. Laser Box. And for the rear grip, I put on the Saken ZX grip. Saken, Saken, whatever. And for the magazine, it's the 30 round mag. Because I'm not doing the 10. Like, why would you want to do 10? And for the underbell, it's the exact same. The FTAC SP10 angled grip. So those are the builds for those three shotguns. Now we can look at the Forge Camo challenges see what we have to do so for the lockwood all we have to get is 25 one shot kills while aiming down sight really man that's pretty obvious and for the haymaker all we have to get is get three hip fire kills with one magazine 15 times okay all right and for the riveter we need to get 25 multi kills and that might be a pain in the ass unless i play meat 24 7 but i don't know if i want to do that because people are swearing their balls off we'll find out oh hang on they got rust man but besides that everyone make sure you subscribe because we are so close to 750 subscribers subscribers at the moment i think we're about 30 off so if you guys want to subscribe you don't have to but hey if you want to i would really appreciate every single one of these that would do that besides that let's do it And we are back, yeah! Man, good old Rustmink 24-7. At least we got a good old caffeine drink right here, which I am not sponsored by by Monster Energy. Yeah, imagine, yeah, me. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, that sounds about right. It's already started. And I think I hit my mic. Oh, my God. So it seems lately that I've been trying to, like, get camos as fast as I can. The problem is, lately, it's been such a pain in the ass to do it when you've got work. But we're almost there anyway, so it's like, whatever. I'm not really fast. Oh, my God. But, man, it was so funny because I ordered a couple of drinks of, like, Amazon on and that and i didn't realize how many i actually ordered and i sort of went overboard so, hey i'm gonna be very caffeinated during the holidays which is almost there we've got about one more week to go which i cannot wait so honestly when the holidays come i'll be able to go for the mastery camos on zombies and multiplayer so much more easier and make more content for you guys because the support lately has been insane and i really appreciate all your support are you really camping there Damn it. Oh, there's a claymore. Come on. Need this claymore. Never mind. I don't know what it's been lately, man. Like, playing zombies most of the time than going to play multiplayer. It's actually been quite enjoyable. Until you get screwed over by skill-based matchmaking, like what everyone talks about, including me. But at least I've got zombies to play. Oh my god, I'm going off. Oh my god. <laughs> it also makes me laugh as well of how people are like, oh, I can't wait for Christmas noobs. But yeah, that's not going to happen anytime soon, ain't it? I miss those days when you used to just go and play Forgy on Christmas and versus all the bad players and the Christmas noobs. <laughs> It's also getting me worried as well of once I'm done with the mastery camos, what the heck am I going to do? I mean, I could do what I did on Modern Warfare 2 and just go for like DLC weapons like Forge Camo or whatever. Same time, I'm like, oh my god. Alt Claymore, 46 kills. I joined late. Thanks, teammate. 8 and 25. Well done. Appreciate you. After that game, we only need 9 more one-shot kills while aiming down inside. Pretty fast, to be honest. Like, wow. Also realized that for the launcher now, that you don't really have to go for Claymore destroys anymore. You can go for, like, build upgrades, I think. If anybody wants to use it on this map. I like how that guy already left after dying. That guy spawned right. He's got the mastery. He's got the mastery camo already. Oh, that's a nice class setup. I like that. Why the people already got these mastery camos already? But I'm struggling to even get bloody other camos. I just spawned. That's like what I said on like my previous videos is that I'm trying to get the mastery camos around the same time. Once that's done, oh man, I cannot wait. 
This is so good, man. I know a lot of people are going to go and complain that I'm trying too hard. I don't play video games all day, every day. If I'm editing videos or doing Photoshop and that, I can't play video games. And most of the time, I'm at work. So, like, for example, if this was my full-time job, which won't ever happen, that'll be a different story. I'll be able to go for cameras much more faster. But because I have a work life and do things outside of work and gaming, it's a different story for me. But honestly, doing this in my spare time has just been so good. Like, learning every day, going to analytics, seeing people that watch my videos, the impressions as well, like, almost, like, a 100,000 and people have like seen my channel honestly thank you and it's a good feeling as well man like seeing like people watch my content and they actually like it like man that's awesome <laughs> it's, it's so good and finally upgrading like my setup again as well like i got a new mic stand so it's much more better now i'm trying out different ways of editing i don't really want to make the video like really boring i want to try and keep it like more like entertaining and fast paced but it's a learning experience Hey, if you guys have any ideas or like for intros or whatever, let me know down in the comments down below. Because I'm happy to like funny intros and that for all you guys. What the heck am I doing, man? You guys have a new build already. Oh, we got it. Never mind. But hey, if you guys have a new build already, then you got to. Oh, man, let's do it. Yes, playing on the weekend is just much more better to play. So you usually like that most of the time when you play video games. Like you don't play video games like really late at night because all the no lives play it learned that through the old days of Call of Duty. I think it's like mainly in the morning. That's the best time to play Call of Duty. Until skill-based matchmaking kicks in and makes you want to just go and jump off a cliff. <laughs> oh my god, I feel so toxic right now. Man, these players must hate me right now, man. I'm sorry, I don't like to do this, but what choice do I have? I think that guy forgets that that shield is not good anymore. CDL skin my ass. Every time I see somebody with like a CDL skin or whatever, I just go, Ugh. man, this reminds me of the Brexit Black Ops 3. If you haven't used that back in the day, what were you doing? That was like the worst gun to use. Oh, sorry, to get killed by. Just spray and pray. <laughs> man, all this caffeine's really working out. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, we did it. 71 kids. <laughs> Oh yeah. So we finally unlocked the forged camo on the Lockwood 680. Thank God for that. I mean, the priceless camo seems pretty obvious. Like, get five hipfire kills while moving. Is that it? So all we have to get is 11 more free hipfire kills with one magazine, and that'll be done for that weapon. <laughs> How the heck is that guy level 250 already? 350 already? Well, this is gonna be absolutely perfect. Hey man, how you going with that? Is that gold? Yep, that is definitely gold right there. Was that platinum? Hold up. Yeah, that's gold. Man, I feel really bad using this. So, like, right, people use the meta weapons anyway, so I can just piss off people more often. That guy's got a flame fl No! Oh my god, he wet the war. How did I just say? Wet the war? Yeah, <laughs> come on, buddy. Come on, come on. I'm not spamming my button right now. Oh, crap. Holy! Oh my god! Come here, get around the corner. Know where I'm going. I'm just coming around the bloody mountain. Hey, what a living back! Oh my god. Man, I, I, yeah. Welcome to C. Everybody want a bloody KFC. Am I just the only one that's going for C? Why am I always carrying the team? Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. He's here. He's here. He's humpy. Humpy bear. Teammate, teammate, teammate. Oh my god. Goes hawk. You know how much more easy it is now to actually talk when you don't have a gap between your teeth? Well, I still got the aligner in my teeth, but once that's out, oh my god, I cannot wait. Ah, uh, it's been a good year. <laughs> hey, teammate, you want to go out there? The zaps, come on, I believe in you. We did it! 55 kills later. I don't feel good about this. So after that game, we only need to have four more free hit fire kills. Has it been me, or is this battle pass, like, okay? I know there's cool stuff that you can unlock while well, in the game. Like, you got, like, the new weapons and that new attachment. But at the same time, I'm like, is that it? I mean, at least you can go for it. I mean, we've got the new event coming up in, like, four days. And while I was talking, this had to happen. Okay. Oh, look, it's my good old friend Demo. <laughs> is that Demo? It's Demo. <laughs> This is so quiet. What the hell? Get root, get dead, get mother. <laughs> I don't know what it's been, but these lobbies have been okay. God damn it. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> I love how so many pro players got banned because they were caught cheating. I find it embarrassing of how people think they're good and they get completely owned. Like, it's sad, though, how people have to cheat just to prove that they're good. Because the issue is, is that a lot of people are not going to believe in your clips anymore. Maybe because, oh, you reverse boosted. Oh, you're using another account. Oh, you're modding. Oh, you're hacking. Yada, yada. It's sad of what Call of Duty is now because what happens if you hit a really good clip after struggling for hours or even days? But nowadays, people will just go, nah, you're reverse boosting. You're not good. Yeah, all because of skill-based matchmaking completely 
gonna be one. And it's sad. It makes me wonder why are they like doing this to the community, man? I know it's for the bad players and whatnot, but we're suffering as well if you're a good player. We're the ones that play the game the most. Uh, it's cool, Judy. We're not gonna do anything. Hey, there we go. We've got the forge going on. Like, can't be me, right? Like, all of you will be dealing with the same problem as well. Thank God zombies exist. Okay, the last shotgun to do it, boy. Let's do it. Oh my god. I just realized the other team's only got eight. Thank god we got this mode because how the heck am I going to get multi-kills? How the hell did that guy not kill me? And now we've finally unlocked the forged camo on the haymaker. Thank god. <laughs> my god. Like seriously. But now all we have to get is 16 more multi-kills. Man, already? That's pretty fast. What the heck? I need some motivation music. Oh yeah, this is some really hyped up music. Oh yeah, it's good. Man, it's a good combination of using caffeine and like, listening to pumped up music. Oh god, mate. Ooh. That guy's got the. Oh my god, give me that camo. Oh my god, it's like a hundred dollar camo, whatever it was. Take that, will ya? Oh jeez, oh god. I really do not like joining lobbies late because people already have an idea what the lobby's like. I'm just trying to find out what the heck's going on. Oh, he's got a chopper gunner. Oh yeah, sick. Oh yeah, this is fun. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, yeah this is great. Yeah, so much fun, you know. I think these guys are the ones that say that play how you want to play. Oh, a load of bullshit. Play how you want to play. Yeah, until skill based mech day kicks in your fing ass. I don't think it was a good idea to play this with multi-kills. Oh my god, these lobbies suck. Like how the helicopter was right in my ass. Oh my god, we got it. Yeah, let's leave. Well, we did it. We finally unlocked the forged camo on the Riveter. Or the Riveter. Wait, I don't know. Well, at least the shotguns are done, so thank god. Mmm, so good. Well, besides that, everyone, that is going to be the video for today. Make sure you subscribe because we're on the road to 750 subscribers at the moment. If you guys want to check out my social medias, they're all down in the description down below. If you guys want to support me more, share this video as well because I really appreciate it if you do. Do it. Besides that, everyone, my name's Jonathan. I'll see you guys in my next video. Hopefully, I'll get that uploaded next three days. Hopefully. Besides that, I'll see you guys later. And now I can press stop recording.